Hello, what is up guys? This is Delta Warfare. Welcome to another how-to video guys and in this video I'm going to show you how to actually put a tweet or a question in your video. So uh, Yeah, let's get straight into it. It's actually kind of easy kind of simple uh, to actually do this and I'm going to show you how to do it. So uh, let's get straight into it. What you have to do here is actually find, of course, your, you know, question or your tweet, if you will. And normally I go with a question because I do Friday Night Recap and I get people to ask me, you know, random questions and stuff, kind of like a and a and stuff like that. And I actually answer the question in the video. Uh, so basically what you have to do is actually, you know, get your question off the internet. Like say, you know, if it's a tweet, it's going to be on Twitter, on the internet and stuff like that. So you're going to have to find some way uh, to get that off of the internet and kind of like get it on to your computer as like a file. So I've already done that. So I'm just going to open it and let's go to pictures here. Uh, actually no sorry it's in the it's in the videos there we go and as you can see I got my screenshot go ahead and click open and we're in Sony Vegas Net, you don't necessarily have to have uh, Sony Vegas also what I like to do is actually disable the resample that's kind of random but you know uh, that's what you should do for all your videos but anyway as you can see there uh, there is the question now this isn't a question uh, just for the sake of this video I just done the very first uh, comment which was actually made by dog monkey hello dog monkey <laughs> uh, but anyway so uh, like I said um, uh, yeah, you don't actually necessarily have to have, you know, Sony Vegas Pro. That is just my choice. But what you do have to have is, you know, multiple tracks. And what I mean by multiple tracks, if you can see down here, uh, right now, all I got is one track. And that is the track, you know, that has my uh, question on it like that. Uh, but normally, uh, you're not going to have just a question. You're going to also have your video. So what I'm going to do is actually open uh, up my video and I'm just going to use an older video. I'm going to go to vlogs here and I'm just going to use like a uh, video that I've already produced and stuff like that. I'm just going to go with this one for the sake of it and uh, go ahead and open that and as you can see there's my my video. Uh, yeah, there we go and so yeah, uh, like I said, um, I'm also going to actually uh, split this video down a little bit. You're not going to do this because uh, you're you're going to have your you know your Q and A uh, video and stuff like that. Uh, so you're probably not going to want to do this. Uh, but if you do want to do it for you know sometime for your videos and stuff like that, uh, if you, this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to split it in half. And all you have to do is press you know uh, scroll over, you know go to the point that you know. Uh, you want to split and stuff like that and just hit s on your keyboard and you can go ahead and delete that and then go forward a little bit and hit s again and like i said this is just you know for that this, this you know sake of the video and stuff like that uh but yeah also i'm going to remove the audio because there's no really point in having audio uh for me for you, it's going to be kind of important, but uh, for me, it's not really going to be important. But if you want to know how to remove the audio, just press U on the, the letter U on the uh, keyboard here and then hit the delete key and it removes uh, the audio. And we want this audio track out of the way as well. And there we go. So uh, move our video over there. And as you can see, the question is now over the video. And that is definitely not what you want. That is something you want to try to avoid. But if you have like, if you're using, you know, Windows Movie Maker or something like that, um, this is the only way you can actually do it because you don't have, you know, multiple tracks and stuff like that. Um, so uh, I don't think you can actually do it with Movie Maker, uh, but in other words, what I'm trying to say is if you have a program that lets you have multiple tracks, that is what you need. Uh, so you can have your uh, video right here and also your question. Uh, but you're saying, you know, why is your video over here and your questions are over, you know, beside it? Well, that's because I don't have another track, so I need to go ahead and answer another track. So I just right click on this track 
insert video track and make sure your question right here make sure your question is above your video so it's going to look just like this as you can see you can see the question you can see the video if your video is actually above uh, the question all you're going to see is the video you're not going to even see the question at all so really what's the point uh, so make sure your question is above the video so you can actually see it well now you're saying why is the question you know over your face or over my eyes and stuff like that well you can actually fix that as well also I forgot to mention you can actually drag it however long you need it or something like that um, but anyway so yeah you're actually asking why is it over my face you can see in the preview window that it's over my eyes over my face uh, so you're going to go to this nifty tool right here and uh, this actually lets you it's called track motion now like I said just keep in mind this is Sony Vegas if you're using a different program just uh, try to find a tool that is sim similar excuse me to this so I'm going to go ahead and click on track motion and this nifty window pops up don't know why I'm using nifty uh, but anyway <laughs> uh, click click on the box anywhere in the box here don't click inside the well you can click inside the circle but anyway uh, click anywhere in the box and drag around as you can see my question in the preview window is going crazy right now um, and that just basically lets you move it to wherever uh, you want to and normally wh where I like to place it and stuff like that and I think majority uh, most people that do question and answers and stuff like that um, you know yeah they actually put it down there I guess you if you wanted to uh, you could actually you know put it up there uh, you know if you want to be different I might try that sometime uh, myself you know just maybe putting it up there or something you know trying to be different uh, but you you want to try to you know uh, be able to see uh, your face and stuff like that and that actually looks pretty good uh, you'll do a better job I'm just kind of like you know in a rush and stuff like that um, but yeah that's basically how you do it just make sure you have uh, two uh, you know or more uh, multiple tracks and make sure the question is above the video guys that's all you got to do and thanks for watching this video I hope it has helped you out in some way I hope you have learned you know a little something also if you have any suggestions guys leave them in the comments below I make how to videos every Thursday on my channel and one every Thursday so if you have any suggestions leave them in the comments below I'd really appreciate that also subscribe and it'll you know notify you when I actually make a new how to video and you know things like that so like i said i hope you have enjoyed uh please subscribe and thanks for watching guys